Hey, what's up, guys? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to put the iPod Touch any generation or iPhone any generation to the 3.0 firmware. The first thing you're going to have to do, obviously, is download your firmware. So, choose whatever you, whichever device you have. If it's iPhone, iPhone 3G or 3GS or iPod Touch 1G or 2G. Remember, it's the 3.0, so and whichever you get, you get the 3.0, okay? So once you've downloaded that, down, I, I, I would download it to the desktop if I were you. So download it to the desktop, then open iTunes and make sure your iPod Touch or iPhone is plugged in. Then I want you guys to do this. We're going to put the iPod Touch or iPhone into DFU mode. So hold the power and home buttons hold them hold it until that sound of that this noise comes up okay then you let go of the power button and just keep on holding the home button don't let it go just keep holding it and when it makes that noise you let it go so there we go so you guys have to let let it go now and let's just wait okay then this is gonna appear you, you guys just click OK this is the first step to jailbreaking the 3.0 so if you want to jailbreak this uh, just follow this video I'm already I've already done the jailbreaking video and I'm uploading it together with this one so I'll put an annotation somewhere here so you can click on it uh, okay so this part you guys have to click sh hold shift on your keyboards and click restore while holding shift then a little window is going to open and I want you to select the firmware you downloaded then you just open it and let let the computer do the rest it's going to take a while so I'll pause the video and I'll continue when it finishes so it's preparing the iPod for restore and just wait so it's going to start making those noises again and this little loading bar will appear so you just wait for that to fill up or wait for something to happen on the screen and just wait okay so when that finishes just click OK your iPod is just turning on remember guys this is really easy to do you guys have to learn how to do this by yourselves if you guys want to keep jailbreaking uh, or the next firmware is come out because it's really easy and like because of this I'm doing this for you guys so I can't fit it all into one video like doing this and the jailbreaking because it's too long and I'm not a partner so I can't put videos for more than 10 minutes so I'm gonna make them in two videos so make sure you watch the next video please it'll it'll be worth it so let's just wait for something to happen here for the message to appear okay so now it's connecting to iTunes okay so your iPod is now connected so you guys are gonna have to right now you're already at 3.0 if you look down there at the at the bottom right on my screen here wait first guys remember you guys have to set up as a new iPod you, you can name it as before but remember you guys have to set it up as a new iPod so yeah I'm gonna leave it like that no, no. Damn it. I know I didn't want it to sync applications, but whatever. Okay, so that's done. It's just lagging a bit, my computer. So, okay, see, as you can see down here on the bottom right, uh, we have 3.0 firmware now. You see, you can search applications. Let's see, I want to find mail. Anything with M, music. You can search songs. It's really useful, really useful. Videos, photos, anything with anything with a name you just scroll to the left and you can find it there okay so yeah that's the end of this video of how to put your iPod touch or iPhone into 3.0 using the DFU mode and check out my next video which is the continuation of this of putting in of jailbreaking it so you have Cydia and other stuff okay so subscribe rate comment share this video to your friends recommend it to other people 
And okay, now just click on the bottom right and to watch the next video. Thanks.